MFA Updates. Hello, good morning. Welcome to MFA Update. This is a weekly program where we bring you Thailand's foreign affairs and activities. And you're here with me, Grace Nishaka Pumi. For this week's edition, we will discuss the 50th anniversary of the diplomatic relations between Thailand and Romania, and we have an honor to welcome Her Excellency Ms. d a o w i b u n Panit, the Ambassador of Thailand to Romania, to tell us more about this matter. The foreign affairs that matter. Special guests from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is the MFA updates. So it has been 50 years for the diplomatic relations between Thailand and Romania, and I would like you to talk about this relation, like how things are going between the two countries, please. Thank you, Captain Grace. Um, first of all, um, I would like to. Uh, talk about the overall relations between Thailand and Romania. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Th- um, Thailand and Romania have enjoyed long and cordial relations since 1973, um, when both country has established a diplomatic relation in that year. And overall, I mean, the relation have been smooth, and we have no problem with each other. Uh, we have established diplomatic relation in 1973, and then three years later, Romania opened their embassy in Thailand in 1976, and four years later, Thailand opened the Royal Thai Embassy in Bucharest in 1980. Mm-hmm. Um, Romania also established an honorary consulate in Pattaya. With a consular jurisdiction over c h o n b u r i c h a c h e n g s a r a y o n g c h a n t a b u r i and t h r a t So, um, the uh, first of June this year will be the 5 0 t h anniversary of our diplomatic relations. Yes. Moving on from all of our relation, um, I would like to touch upon political relations. Mm-hmm. There are two mechanisms um, for bilateral relations between Thailand and Romania. The first one is called political consultation between Thai Romanian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the other one is Thai Romanian Parliamentary Friendship Group. Um, let me get back to the first one: political consultation. I mean, this consultation is at director general level, and the consultations have been held for 19 times. And with the recent one being held here in Bucharest in August last year. Now I would like to move to um, economic relations. Um, Romania is Thailand's um, 67 trading partner. Mm-hmm. The trade total trade volume is still modest, with a figure of uh, around 368 million US dollar. And with a trade surplus on our side at 133 million US dollar, mm-hmm. and the main export from Thailand to Romania are rubber printed circle boards, rubber products, radio, television receiver and components, other industrial products, automobile equipment and components, and important products from Romania. Are electrical machinery and components, mm-hmm. automotive components and equipment, medical size equipment, uh, machinery and component, um, ready to wear clothing. Mm-hmm. And on the private sector side, in 2020, the Romanian Thai Chamber of Commerce was established um, by the initiative of the private sector. And then that that's the um, relation on economic size. Then, if you permit, I would like to move on to education and academic relations. Yeah, sure. The government of Romania offers scholarship to foreigners who are not citizen of EU member states, and at 
So bachelor degrees, master degrees, and doctoral degrees with more than scholarships per year, mm. covering political science, liberal arts, economic, and I mean, all courses are conducted in Romanian. Mm -hmm. In the academic year 2022, there is one Thai student who received this scholarship uh, at the master degree level, and he's now studying international economics at one of the leading uh, university of economic study in Bucharest. Mm -hmm. Moreover, there are several MOU, I mean, MOU sai between a uh, leading university of Thailand and Romania as well. And for tourism, I'm glad to tell you that, I mean, Thailand is um, a, a popular tourist destination among Romanian tourists. Mm -hmm. In 2019, before the pandemic, there were 33,000 uh, Romanian tourists traveling to Thailand. And at present, we have granted visa on arrival to Romanian tourists with a stay of no more than 15 days. Mm -hmm. And since I arrived in Romania, most of Romanian people I met um, have a good impression of Thailand. Mm -hmm. They're familiar with um, Thai food and Thailand as a tourist destination. And now I would like to um, touch upon um, the system and facilitation that rendered by the Romanian government during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic and during the war in Ukraine. Yeah. I mean, during the COVID-19 pandemic, um, Romanian government has made vaccination available to all Thai residents in Romania free of charge and without discrimination. And we really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. In addition, the Romanian government has expressed an intention to donate vaccine to Thailand in 2021. But at that time, um, Thailand has enough vaccine, so we didn't um, receive offer from Romania. Mm -hmm. And another thing that is worth mentioning, we received um, a kind assistance and facilitation from the Romanian government during the war in Ukraine. I mean, that was in uh, February to March 2022. Um, the embassy has assisted in the evacuation of 67 Thai national from Ukraine uh, via Romania. And the Romanian government and the Romanian Ministry of Foreign Affairs have facilitated and acted as intermediary in coordinating with relevant agencies such as um, Romanian immigration and the Ukrainian immigration in the evacuation of Thai people. Mm -hmm. And also the Department of Consular Affairs of Romania uh, also established um, a task force to provide information to diplomatic corps um, for the evacuation of foreign national through Romania. Mm -hmm. I would like to tell you that um, the mission of the Royal Thai Embassy here in Bucharest, um, we focus on um, soft and cultural diplomacy mm -hmm. to make Thailand better known to the public um, through promoting Thai culture, Thai food, Thai tourism, as well as strengthening people-to-people -people contact, especially with the youth who have interest in learning about Asia and Thai culture. So that is um overall relation between Thailand and Romania. And I think there's a lot of development in in the relation for the past 50 years. Mm -hmm. I see that you have mentioned a strong relation between Thailand and Romania in many aspects like political, economic, business, education, and tourism. And um, I wonder about the Thai people in Romania. Like, how many are there? And um, for them, are there any activities organized for the Thai community there? There are about 200 Thai people in Romania scattered around the country, mm -hmm. and 30 of which are students. And 
mainly studying in medicine in leading university in Romania, such as a uh, University of Bucharest, University of Oradea, University of Tarku Muresh, and the race of the Thai national are uh, owner of restaurant businesses, workers, and people married to Romanians. Mm -hmm. uh, regarding activities, uh, the embassy regularly organizes activities with the Thai community, such as uh, organizing volunteer activities on the occasion of His Majesty the King's birthday in July every year, mm -hmm. uh, in the occasion of Her Majesty Queen Sirigit, the Queen Mother's birthday in August every year, and uh, for volunteer activities, um, our volunteer activities includes um, what we have done in the past uh, includes um, donating necessities to social organization in Romania, uh, giving our lunch boxes to medical staff in Romania during a uh, pandemic. And that's that's an example of uh, our volunteer activities. Mm -hmm. And moreover, um, each year uh, we have kind of um, what is called brainstorming session with the Thai Student Association here and the Thai community on various topics to exchange ideas and then the embassy um, apply them to our work of the, the embassy. Yeah, so thank you. And um, to conclude the program for today, I would like you to talk about the mission and the roles of the Royal Thai Embassy on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Thailand and Romania on June 1st, 2023, please. Thank you, Congress, for your question. The embassy organized um, the Thai Festival 2023 um, during um, May 20th to May 21st at the Dimitri Gusti Village Museum in Bucharest. It is the open air museum. And we used this occasion to commemorate and to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the establishment of um, Thai-Romanian diplomatic relation as well. The opening ceremony was held on the 20th of May with the presence of Mr. Luca Niculescu, State Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Romania mm -hmm. as the guest of honor. During the festival, there were cultural performances by students from uh, school number 190, where students um, dressed in Thai costume and sang the elephant song, and they did it um, very well. And there were also Thai cultural performances from the Galasin College of Dramatic Arts, I mean, they from directly from Thailand, mm -hmm. and this is sponsored by the uh, Tourism Authority of Thailand. Mm -hmm. um, moreover, um, there were Thai and Romanian students uh, volunteering to help support the event as well. And this reflects um, in a good example of people-to-people -people contact between uh, the youth of the two countries. Mm -hmm. And this year, the embassy plan to organize activities uh, with the Thai and Romanian youth to strengthen people-to-people -people contact and expand the network of people who are interested in Thailand and Romania. Mm -hmm. I have the special name for this activity and I intended to call it as Thai Cafe. Mm -hmm. I mean, it will be the activity that um, provides a good opportunity for the Thai and Romanian students to get to know each other in a relaxing Thai atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And they can exchange ideas and opinions. And moreover, it will pro also provide a good opportunity for the embassy to present Thailand and various aspects to them as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, thank you so much, Her Excellency, for um, being in our show and uh, giving your time to talk to us today. So thank you so much. Thank you to you as well, Congress, for having me here in your program.
that was the conversation with Her Excellency Dao Vibun Panit, the ambassador of Thailand to Romania, on the 50th anniversary of the diplomatic relations between Thailand and Romania. And with that, we conclude the program for this week. If you want to listen to this episode or the previous episodes of the MFA Update again, please visit the YouTube channel MFA Thailand, or you can check out our Facebook page FM88 Radio Thailand English. So thank you so much, everyone, for listening, and I will see you next time. I am Grace Nishaka Pumi. Have a good day. สวัสดีค่ะ MFA updates.